Hello, my name is Dr. Alan Harper. I have 37 years of experience in cybersecurity. I have written seven books in cybersecurity and have hired hundreds into the field and mentor thousands. In this video, I want to discuss career pathways in cybersecurity. The first one I'll talk about is the Security Operations Center, or SOC, analyst. These are the defenders of the network. They normally work in teams of three tiers of analysts. They monitor using security tools looking for indicators of attack. Then they work with those tools to turn those alerts into events, and some of those events get escalated into incidents, and then sometimes they turn into breaches. They leverage cyber threat intelligence to become aware of attacker behavior and know how to track them. The second field I'll talk to you about is penetration tester and threat hunter. These are the attackers. They emulate real attackers to find holes in the networks, we call those vulnerabilities, and get those fixed before the bad guys find them. Penetration testers use a number of techniques working from the outside to the inside of the network. It is one of the more technical jobs in cybersecurity and will likely be the last one that is automated out. Threat hunters are like penetration testers. They use much of the same knowledge and many of the same tools, but they work from the inside of the network outward, looking for signs of compromise that already exist in the network. The third field I'll talk to you about is that of a security engineer. These are the builders of the network. They build the security architecture to align to the enterprise IT architecture. They select, acquire, and install the security tools to protect the network. This also involves patching and maintaining of those security tools. These days, cloud security engineers are in high demand. A related topic here is that called DevSecOps. It is about developing a secure pipeline for software security so that we can securely develop and deploy software. The fourth field that I'll talk to you about is called Governance, Risk, and Compliance, or GRC. These are the authorizers. This is the paperwork side of cybersecurity. They process authorizations of connecting systems to a network. They perform audits of networks and systems and communicate to internal and external stakeholders. They conduct risk assessments when vulnerabilities cannot be mitigated and what to do to reduce those risks to a tolerable level. Now, I do worry about this group in our field as they are the least technical part of our field and they are at risk of being automated out of the field first. Now in this video, I, ha I have covered many areas of the field. There are more, but these are the main ones. Overall, I encourage you to get some hands-on experience in each of these areas before you make a decision that may shape how you spend the rest of your career. You can leverage free and paid labs on TryHackMe and other platforms to gain the hands-on experience that you need. These platforms will help you learn if this field is even for you and where your true passion lies. You see, if you find a job aligned to your passion, you will be successful and enjoy your career. Now that's all I have for you on this topic. Be sure to follow me on X and LinkedIn. See you there.